ready. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hi. Whoa, what is today? What is this weekend? Labor Day weekend. Labor Day weekend. It's actually the day before Labor Day. Tomorrow's Labor Day. What are we doing somewhat tomorrow? Uh, we're having some friends over for a taco bar and the guys are going to shoot. Taco bar shootout. Okay. Shoot out at the taco bar. Whatever. <laughs> so we've both been doing a lot of work this weekend. Got a lot left to do to get ready for that. Um, mowing and weed eating for me and some other outside stuff. Getting the uh, pool presentable. What all you gotta do? Clean the house. <laughs> That's enough. All with three kids. Alright, so we got two beers here to try. Something for Stephanie. Stephanie, why don't you tell us what you got there? Um, I'm not a beer drinker. I don't like beer. So, um, I don't. I don't like beer. But Cyrus grabbed this. Uh, it's called Ace California Berry Craft Cider Rose. It has 5% alcohol volume. It's a California, what does it say? It says, Ace Berry Rose Cider is a premium hard cider made in the heart of Sonoma County's vineyards and apple orchards. Ace Berry Rose is a mixture of raspberry, blackberry, and strawberry juice blended into our fermented apple cider. Enjoy this exhilarating alternative to beer or wine. There you go. <laughs> okay, so we're going to try that. First, I suppose. You suppose? I got like a sinus cold thing going on, so. So I'm not drinking after him. Try to smell it. I can't it's... smell very good. Hmm. Doesn't smell that great. It kind of has a beer smell to it. Mm, let's try it. It's not too bad. Tastes okay to me, but I'm all stuffed up, so I can't tell you how how good of a review this is going to be. It's not bad. One out of ten. Uh, I would say a six. A six. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not my favorite, but I can't taste all the fruitiness in it. Good stuff. <clears throat> Alright, onward. So this next one is fairly local. It's Ghost River Brewing Company. Zippin' Pippin' India Pale Ale. Of course. Buckle up. This hearty and hoppy IPA won't throw you for a loop, but it's got some twists and turns, so put your hands in the air and come along for the ride. As you bring the glass to your mouth for the first drop, you'll be met with arom aromatic notes of tropical fruit, citrus, and a hint of resinous pine from the healthy additions of mosaic, citra, and sentinel hops, specks, alcohol 6.9, IBU 60, packaging, six pack bottles, 24 pack case bottles, 5 gallon kegs, 15.5 gallon kegs availability year round. Alright, Stephanie. Y'all already know I'm not going to like it, so. Okay, first thing, show them your bottle yep. since we forgot to show the bottle. I showed it a little bit. So. Well, it's kind of blurry. I'm not going to get up 
to adjust. <laughs> Here's the zip and pippin. That was a ride at our fair in Memphis it's called yes. Zip and Pippin. I was going to have Stephanie give you the history on that. Oh. Um, have you ever rode it? I rode it once. Stephanie rode the Zip and Pippin once. And I don't ride roller coasters anymore. How was it? So is that the reason why you don't ride them anymore? So yeah, I just can't handle roller coasters. I mean, was it scary? For me, yeah. I was probably six years old when I rode it. Oh. So by today's standards where we go, it probably wouldn't be that scary? Probably not. It had a loop-de-loop -loop where you went upside down. So it does not exist. I mean, I think it does exist. I think some private guy... It was a wooden roller coaster. I think some private guy uh, bought it and put it somewhere else. I don't know if uh, the public can still use it or not, but... If you're interested in it, check it out. Zip and Pippin. I've never seen it. I mean, I've heard of it, but I think it was taken... He's not from here, so... Taken down either when I got here or shortly afterwards. Stephanie will probably really like this one. It'll bring back memories yeah. of how bad she didn't like it. Because it smells pretty IPA-ish. And beer's just nasty in general. First. First dibs. Yeah, that just smells. It actually smells like pineapple. Does it got pineapple in it? Mm -hmm. It smells pineapple y. Let's taste it. Oh my gosh. Good? Is that good? <laughs> Just like the zipper, <laughs> just like the roller coaster. That is so disgusting. Oh. 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 Doesn't oh, taste right. like pineapple. Yeah, it's like that uh, tangerine one we had. It smelled pretty good, but it was pretty bad. All right. Oh, man, that was bad. I guess I shouldn't have drank out of the can in case you wanted another try. I know I'm good at things. That was nasty. Ugh. Alright. So, right off the bat, I'm going to say I've had worse <sighs> for a uh, IPA. I don't know, it might be my sinuses, but I've had worse. Okay. It's still pretty bad. Yep, it tastes just about like every other IPA, maybe not as strong as the uh, Stone IPAs that I've been trying. Those are pretty strong. This one here is on the IPA, I'm going to say borderline, I'll say probably a medium IPA. Oh... Uh, but, that being said, it's going to be hard for me to give it any IPA a good review. So this here is going to get a 4 or a 5 from me. Okay? I know I say I'm going to... I would never drink this again. But next week I'll probably try another IPA, so whatever. Ugh. Your review? Oh, zero. Zero? Mm -hmm, that's another thing. Mm -mm. Is this the nastiest one so far, you think? Mm, I don't know. That was pretty bad. That tastes like pee. Tastes it's just like, it's disgusting. It tastes like pee smells. There you go. Okay. I don't drink pee, but whatever. <laughs> it tastes like pee smells. It's mm. nasty. So Stephanie gives it a big fat zero. Mm hmm. From the non-beer drinker over here. I'll have to give her one of those Voodoo Rangers. Maybe this will get up to like three or something. I don't drink at all, so I'm not a very good reviewer. Alright folks, thanks for watching. Have a good Labor Day. <laughs>